start out by making a cylinder. This cylinder is only about six inches tall. Yep, six and a half inches tall. And I want the cylinder to be about this thin, about less than half an inch, probably about a quarter inch thin from the top to the bottom. If it was a bigger base, I would make it half an inch thick from top to bottom. And I had to go, I had to work this section a lot, um, the bottom section, because that's where it gets thickest. But now that I've done that, now I'm going to shape it. And this is how you shape it. Forming the belly. Remember the rule of 45, you don't want this angle to go past 45. So if it was dropped down to here, that would be too much and it would probably sag down. I'm gonna make the top of the vase. I'm gonna put water on the outside of my hand. And I want it to go inside the vase. Now I'm gonna collar it and I'm gonna come up slowly. I'm not squeezing a lot at the beginning. Now I'm just gonna dip my hands and keep doing that. Slowly. Bring up the top. So I'm making a taper, a nice even taper all the way to the top. Remember the rule of 45? You don't want to go over 45 degrees. Now I'm going to start bringing in the neck. This is about the angle I want, top and bottom. I just want to develop my neck now. And as you see, when I brought it in, it thickened up the top, so I can pull that top and make it thinner. I don't want to put a lot of water in there, so I'm just getting my finger wet before I put it in the neck. If you put your fingers in there and it feels sticky, you need to get a little bit more water. But remember, you don't want to add a ton of water that you can't get out. That'll break the bottom. And now I'll adjust my middle finger and thumb and some support here with my right hand. I'm pinching and pulling the neck up. And I'm going to squeeze again because it's getting wide again. The sponge is there to app to provide water and lubricant as I pull up and back to the two fingers again. We get the mud off. Put plenty of water on there. Let it drip down the neck a little bit. getting a little wet down here at the bottom. I don't want it to soften up that angle and send it off center. This is also spinning a lot faster than I would spin it for a big base. But when you're working on something very, very narrow, it has to be spinning pretty good. If it was expanded to this wide, I would slow it down. Just finishing up the neck here.
Now I'm just going to work the top. Shape the top. And thin it out. And that's pretty much it. Now just go over everything with a rib and even it out. Pause it.